Hey everybody, and welcome back to Concept Journey. I'm André Pelais, and this is episode 8. So, for this week's episode, I got something a little bit different. I will record my audio in one take, so instead of doing cuts and this kind of stuff, to remove everything that I speak wrong in English, I will try to do it in only one take and please bear down with me if I if I start to stutter or something like that. Anyway, focusing on the painting. Um, as you can see, I'm working on, working on the gate and this piece, to be honest with you, was not going where I wanted it to go. Um, I was trying to, to make it really perfect working step by step and focusing on the general feeling of this entire piece. But instead of doing that, I realized that I was wasting a lot of time on minor details that on the final image would never appear or never be important. I was forgetting the fact that the main focus of this piece should be the vehicle, the tank itself and not uh, the environment around it. Of course, the environment is important, as it gives uh, the stage for my tank presentation, but it cannot override it in, in a question of importance. So, by the end of this episode, you will see what I did to this painting. For now, you are seeing me working on the, on the gate, and I really wanted to make a nice looking sci-fi gate. And you can see that while I was doing that, I was not thinking about the positioning of the tank. So I was painting a lot during this part on a object in the, in the gate, it would be the, the locking system or something like that. And the gate it was right behind the tank, so it wouldn't even appear on my, on my final piece. That, that uh, taught me that instead of, of thinking as at every point at something separate, I should look at everything as parts of one object at the end of the day. So even though I need to render everything separately, I need to think at everything as only one piece. And I think that's what, that was the mistake that I was committing on this, on this part. You can see also that uh, a lot of times I stop for a while because I'm looking at the Im image and trying to see what I will do next. Seems like I stopped <laughs> a lot in the, during this process. Okay, so now we got to the point that uh, I really wanted to show you. I threw everything out. I just look at the image, I was, I was not happy with the results, you know, that I was getting. Uh, I was really, really unhappy with that, so I decided that I would start over. Um, I had spent, I think, about six hours on the other painting. And it was a difficult decision to take, but I think it was necessary. I decided that I would start painting everything together in only one layer. So this would keep myself from looking at everything as something different, you know. I would start to uh, see the piece as one thing in, in general. And I don't know if you noticed, but I'm doing a lot more progress uh, using that method. I'm detaching myself from the idea that everything has to be perfect. I'm just putting things in place sort of where I want everything to go uh, in a really rough uh, kind of kind of way but it's giving me the initial feeling of how the entire piece will look at the end of the day I decided to to take this to a direction where the tank itself is sort of being built it's like the 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 tank is on a military facility or anger or something like that and there are people studying it and assembling it and kind of twerking, making it uh, work better. 
you're tweaking it, it's not working. <laughs> and yeah, that was the big decision that I made to this piece. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you have any comments or suggestions or anything to say about this decision of throwing everything out and starting over, please let me know that in the comments below. Share this video if you want to. I will also leave my social media links down below. And if you want to see the progress that I'm doing on this piece, I'm posting almost every day a part of it on my Instagram stories. And I hope to see you guys next week. Thank you for watching.